Hey everyone, welcome to Scott's Honest Reviews. So for today's video, we are reviewing the iScan Wand Portable Scanner. So you're supposed to be able to scan a lot of documents and stuff. Built-in real-time scanning detector to avoid image distortion through built-in speed controller, controls the scanning speed. Two AA batteries can scan above 200 pages. So I don't know why it says above, so it would be two. It can scan 200 pages or more than 200 pages. Attach with OCR software, two format choices, JPEG or PDF, high resolution, max 900 DPI, extremely portable. Extremely portable. That's funny. So um, supports up to 32 gigabyte memory card. All right, oh, let's go ahead and start opening this up. Let's see what we got in here. First off, I can see we got a USB cord, a nice little bag for it, a CD, which, you know, nowadays you can download this stuff, um, and a manual. So we're gonna actually use this. Okay, this is a white balance calibration card. So we're gonna need this. We got our scanning tool right here. So that's basically it. It's got a little weight to it. Now let's see where the batteries would go in. So the batteries probably go right in here. You slide this down and then you lift up and batteries go right in here. So we're going to go ahead and put batteries in and get testing this out. Links in the video description if you are interested, if it's not a fail. All right, so we got a 16 gigabyte SD card and that would go in right here. So it shows you how it should go in. Just like that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put the batteries in. Okay, so let's get the calibration card over here and see what it has to say. Use to perform calibration to adjust white balance. Put the scanner in the white area and then press the scan button. Okay, so it's in the white area. Press the scan button. Okay, the red went out. And then it says to start scanning, the smooth sliding. Until the green goes out. So we slide this over until the green goes out apparently. Okay, the green went out. So must have calibrated then. Okay, so press the scan button to turn off the scanner after finished. Okay, let's go ahead now and scan everything. So we press and hold the scan power button and then we press the scan and now we slide this over, I think. Now, when we're done, do we press it? Okay, so when, okay, that's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and scan this. So what you do is you turn it on, you press the scan button, it'll light up green, and then you take this and you scan. Oh, it went off before, okay, let's try this again. And press it again. So I don't know how well it's working, we're gonna try different angles here. Press the scan. We go ahead and we scan this. And we press it. So it's adding right there to the number. So it is scanning. Um, I'll add the photos that I scanned to this video. But my final thoughts, 
I'm going to go look at the photos and give you my final thoughts. So one thing I have to point out, uh, when you use the device and turn it off, it seems like you have to pick high quality every time. So it resets itself when it turns off, but that's just pressing the button twice. Um, I saw the photos and the low quality and medium quality I wasn't happy with, but the high quality I was extremely impressed with. Extremely impressed. So much so that on high quality, quality I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 and probably a 10 out of 10 but we'll see as time goes on how long it it actually lasts but I'm very happy so it's definitely getting a 9 out of 10 links in my video description if you're interested